Okay, so I'm making a live demo about live demos, ironically. Let me come to Telegram. So here in, my art, in our automation, I swapped out Claude with GPT. And what will happen here is the audio message gets picked up by Telegram, then comes into GPT for the transcription by Whisper. I like to get a transcription. I like that saved and sent back to me. It also lets me know that the automation has been running, especially because in the settings, I had scheduling on with the, um, the data immediately as data arrives. That way you can just have this schedule to be on and then leave this scenario open. And then you could be out and about and you still use Telegram, send audio message. And what you'll get back in return is this Claude prompt is for a video script. This one is for tweets, but it will get added to the same Google Sheet. So my Google Sheet here has the video script tweet. I have I will add Claude prompts to expand this for Facebook post, LinkedIn and Medium. But for right now, what you can see is every time that we run this automation in my one Google Sheet, I can get my video script and I can get three different tweets. I got two short ones and one long one. So let's run it. So here we have my phone. Mm. Yes, when it comes to live demos, it's always best to tweak the automations first before performing them because it does make the editing a bit more difficult. And especially when you come up with errors that aren't necessarily supposed to come up, that is the issue with them. I had one last night where once the error came up on something I wasn't expecting, I forgot that I was still recording. That's 10 minutes of footage I just wasted. So I'd have to go back and delete that. So it's best to tweak things first. And then the specific automation we have now is one designed for someone to be on the move, on the go, and still be able to use Telegram in an audio message and get a whole Google Sheet updated with a plethora of options of content. For right now, we just have a video script and a tweet, but it could be optimized to include a LinkedIn, a Medium, and Facebook, as long as you add um, an additional Claude module with specific prompts for whatever type of content you're trying to create. Okay. So you won't see it on the screen here running. That's the interesting thing that I've noticed with this, but it should pick it up and I should be getting the transcription sent back to me soon. I do have at the end here a Telegram message with the link to my Google Sheets. So it, I have a pro, I have a set here where it says just new content added, check Google Sheets, and then here's the link to my Google Sheets. So that way, every time I run it and you're not accessing the computer, rather than going back and figuring out, because the interesting thing is when I want to input something in a Google Drive, it only allow, has allowed me through one email. Um, and then when I want to get an output to like update, update it to a Google Docs, I only get that through a specific other Gmail as well. For some reason, it, they're very picky about which Gmail I use to connect. So the main thing here is that in the automation, you have this button clicked on here. That way it automates. So what you'll get is like, hold on. You get like that link in Telegram that you have a program. So I got I get the transcript back and I get the link to the Google Sheets. And what you see here, here's video script tweet. So here we have the time. And the one that we just talked about was, was yeah, turning your voice to content factor while you're on the go. Sounds impossible, not anymore. Here's the steps. Here's the CTA. So that's a whole quick short video script if you wanted it. Sometimes these video scripts are tweakable to be like a long tweet. And then here we have the short ones. Live demos can be tricky. I learned the hard way. 10 minutes of wasted footage due to unexpected error. Pro tip, always tweak. What's your go-to strategy for smooth demos? There's a question. And another short one. And then of course, here's a little longer one. So I'll give you another example. So again, we're not in the automation itself. It's already running automatically. All you gotta do, take out the phone. Okay, so let's say you you know, you're a parent, you're a teacher, or just a concerned citizen. This is part of your personal brand, right? And you got kids that you're raising. You want to talk about different um, school systems as an example. 
there's not really much of a difference as someone that has gone through technical school charter school private school public school and different types of public schools in different states i honestly don't think there's a difference mark twain said don't ever let school get in the way of education and at the end of the day you might find good things and bad things there are great public schools there's horrible charter schools so i've seen retarded people come out of private schools and i've seen really smart people come out of public schools so it really comes down to the student as well as the the parent infrastructure you know what type of upbringing they have at home that truly makes a difference it's not necessarily the school itself so don't sweat it too much if your kids are going to some public school and you think they're going to come out stupid be more concerned if they come out gay <laughs> well it's true nowadays that's a horrible fear <laughs> so okay now we have this running i mean it doesn't show but it should be running let's just wait a little bit oh boom okay so I already got the transcript sent and I got the Google Sheet link, right? So now when we come here on our Google Sheet, shocking truth. Your child's school type doesn't matter as much as you think. I've experienced it all from tech schools to private academies. Here's the kicker. Mark Twain said, don't let school interfere with education. Is that what he said? No, I said, don't let school. He said, he said don't let school get in the way of your education. It's not about public versus private versus charter. Mm, doesn't include anything about being gay. <laughs> Claude is biased. <laughs> yep. Okay, so here we got one tweet. Don't let school get in the way of education, Mark Twain. Reflecting on my journey through various school systems, I've realized not about the type of school, but the students' drive and home environment that truly makes a difference. What's your take on education? So I got two short tweets. One, I try to end it in like a question. That way it sparks conversation. And then the other one is just supposed to be uh, if ever wonder if the type of school really matters after experiencing technical charter private and public success isn't determined by the institution but by the students motivation and family support and of course we have the longer tweet which I don't know why it's not showing mm -mm -mm. a school choice debate is there a really significant difference the key factors yep student motivation parental support Mark Twain's quote what's your experience uh huh so, uh, so there you can see very short demo and that's what you can do to basically keep it on. Now, of course, you're going to have to have like the higher plan so that way, because if you're on the free version of like five mega, no, 500 megabytes of data, something like that. But uh, if you're going to be transferring voice, so it's not heavy now transferring, transferring longer scripts and whatnot will be. And then, of course, like I said, you can add more cloud prompts for your medium, for your LinkedIn, similar to this scenario here. This one right here has four, specifically for Facebook, Medium, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and all it gets uploaded in one Notion template. The reason over here, but that's a very specific Notion template that they didn't make. The reason for Telegram, I have it with Google Sheets, is because I have an automation. What you can do very easily with Google Sheets is have a separate scenario where that Google Sheet is then linked to Medium and LinkedIn. And so once you have gone in and tweaked and edited your content and have like approved it, you can then go into your second scenario and then just click run. It'll automatically post to platforms. And what you can do is, is you schedule it to work in intervals let's say once an hour and only punch out one row so let's say you got five rows right five different articles so you're gonna say all right you're gonna schedule this um, once every hour for only one row because sometimes it could say okay it'll punch out three rows and post three articles at the same time no you just do one every hour for example and just have it run and then now every hour automatically you're getting an article posted on linkedin or medium so that's another way of going about it. That's why I'm using Google Sheets here. But hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Be sure to um, check the description for some tools and resources as well.